So as we see in here that if we use the GCA function over here and we set the Y axis and X axis pick mark using an automated time serve method within the matplotlib library, then we get an output that is sort of not in our control. So here it determines the maximum values here, 6, because if we look at our data, then we have the value of 6 for the y-axis. But if we change that to 20, for example, and run this again, you can see that it will automatically change that to 20 because we have specified 20 over there. So what we need is, is there a way to modify this behavior even further? So for example, if we have the values here, 18, 16, 14, we don't know what the value is that determines the gap between these tick marks. So what we can do is if we scroll down over here, we can use the following. So again, notice here that we are still using GCA and we are still accessing the y-axis or the x-axis and then we're using set major locator. So if we scroll up, you can see when we had the set major locator, y-axis, GCA, this is pretty much the same. The only thing that changes is this time we are going to be using plot multiple locator and uh, previously we used plot max m n locator so rather than use this what we can use is we can use this over here and notice that it takes in an argument so it takes in an argument over here and you can see i have put argument for the y axis as four and for the x axis as two so what this will do is it will jump the tick marks by four every time for the y y axis and you will jump two tick mark or the x axis whereas if we look at our uh, code here before we were only able to determine the gap between these tick marks. So remember that we also had the integer here as false. So when we scroll down here to the x-axis, you can see we have the decimals with our new method over here. You can see we're using a slightly different class over here. It's called the multiple locator. And if I were to run this over here and see the output, and now you can see something. The gap we selected was 4 and the gap that we have here 20 16 12 is by 4 and if we go down here the gap for the x-axis over here it is 4 6 so it's separated by 2s and this is because what we did over here was we specified 2 so this is how you can control your axis gaps over here by using the plot multiple locator and then specifying what you want the bucket sizes or the gaps between your tick mark. And all you need to remember is instead of using the GCA and the X axis and the set major locator, if we look at the previous one, you can see it's pretty much the same root of accessing it. But here in the arguments, we just give it a different class. We still access the plot but we gave max n locator and then a parameter over here but for the other one we just access from the plot we access the multiple locator and then pass it how many bucket sizes we want so in this instance we said to separate each bucket size by four